All right, so as promised on my stories, I said I was going to cook dinner on here tonight, so let's get into it. I overslept, but we're going to do it real quick so I can get to work. I have my Keith Moran seafood seasoning right here, so obviously we're about to make something in that realm. I have melted butter, lemon. In my fruit processor, I have cilantro and panko, and we're just going to throw it together. All right, so I'm going to add my seafood seasoning down in here. Not much of it. A little goes a long way. Some melted butter. And I'm going to zest my lemon down in here. Alright, so I got my lemon zest down here and I'm just going to pulse it. Alright, and this is, what, this is what it looks like. Obviously, you could add anything, whatever, to this. But, like I said, it's a simple, easy dinner. And I'm just sharing it with you guys. Alright, so for the purpose of time, um, I already seasoned the back end of my snapper. This is a big snapper filet. And I put my little lemon slices around. That's the same lemon that I zested. Then I'm going to season the other side with the same spice. The Keith Lorraine Seafood Seasoning. Like I said, a little goes a long way. You don't really have to kill it with spices. Plus, I don't like my fish heavily seasoned. Then you're gonna brush this with some green Dijon mustard. This is gonna be the glue that's going to hold down your um, your topping. And don't worry, it's not gonna change the flavor that much. You can use whatever else you prefer to use, but I'm using greeny Dijon mustard. All right, we're good to go. You're going to preheat your oven to about 425. I'm doing this on pretty high heat. And I'm only going to bake this off for 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, if that. I don't like my fish overcooked, and snapper, snapper cooks pretty fast. All right, guys, so this is the finished product of the snapper. Um, remember, you can always scroll back to see the beginning process if anyone sees this and not the previous videos. Don't ask me about that. Um, I just stirred it up with some salad really quickly, and the top is nice and golden. The top is nice and golden. Like I was saying, the snapper is nice and opaque, and it's perfectly cooked for me. And, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed my Insta recipe, and bye.